Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Okay, now we're going to start dealing with topo maps. And this is an introduction to what is a topo map. A topo map is a map that is a drawing that shows the contour of the earth and is, is represented on the map, such as changes of elevation, different features, cliffs, valleys, swamps, all of those features are included into the map. It's not just like a road map which shows major points or just a like a forest map that shows large tracks. It's showing the actual curves and lay of the land. Now, at the end of this video, I'll put a link of where you can get your topo maps. So, let's start out with what a topo map entails. The map itself, which I'll show you up close in a moment, has all this graphic detail explained. In the upper left hand corner, it's going to have the scale. And this one is 1 to 50 thousandths. That's going to become important because there are other scale maps. 1 to 100,000, 1 to 50,000, 1 to 24,000, 1 to 25,000, 1 to 15,000. So when you're doing navigation, and let's say you and I are trying to compare maps, we need to make sure we got the right scale map. That we're the same scale, apples to apples. Okay? It'll have the name of the map. The name will be some major town, city, point, something inside of the map that you're using as a reference. And on the right hand side over here is going to be a number, a, uh, a sheet number. So this is like the serial number of the map. 3816, 4419, something like that. So that when you and I are trying to compare maps and you're in some other place and we're on the phone talking, first we make sure we're on the same size scale, same map, same sheet. This could be part of, have two different sheets with the same center name because it's something so big, you know, like Grand Canyon. You need to make sure you're on the right sheet. Now, all along the edge of the map, you will have numbers. These numbers co uh, correlate to grids put in. A topo map represents that the Earth's surface has been divided up into rectangular, excuse me, into squares. And these squares are a given size. Let's say one, you know, 100,000 meters square, 10,000 meters square, okay? It's a square box of a given size, all right? So along the bottom edge will be a series of numbers with lines running vertical. And along the side will be numbers running horizontal to make a checkerboard pattern on the map. This is used for us to speak to each other in land nav and tell what point on that map we are looking at. Okay? Next, down here along the bottom. Hold it up. Hold it up. Okay, in this corner, we have the legend. And the legend will have all the features and, and things of this map represented here. It'll tell you what the green color means, what the blue color means, what is a symbol for a highway, what is a symbol for a paved highway, a dirt road, um, a track, a gas line, power line, things like that. Every symbol expressed on here will be in this legend. And that allows you to look at it. And as I'm going along, going, well, what is that? I can look down here and see that it's actually a fire tower or that it's some other, you know, a radio tower or something like that represented in the map. In the center of the map, you're going to have the scale. And this tells us what a unit of measurement means on this map. For example, it's in miles, kilometers, and nautical miles. So it allows us to measure distance on this map. Down here below it will be the information of when and where this information was compiled. How long ago, how old is the map. And then down here below it is going to be another little key that's going to tell you is there any variation on this map of another nature. And what that means is when we're creating coordinates later on. Coordinates are prefixed by two, two letters. And this is because every one of these squares going around the planet has a two-letter starting name or number. So this is square 
E-K, Echo Kilo. This is square F-K, Foxtrot Kilo. This is square Gamma Kilo. As we go around the planet, each one will have their designation. So a set of coordinates will begin with those two letters of what the sheet is you are looking at. This one happens to be Echo Kilo, E-K. So when I would give you number coordinates, it would be E-K and then the numbers, okay? That's important when we're talking land nav and you're trying to tell me where to look at on your map and at my map, okay? You have a line right here, and this line represents the difference between magnetic north, grid north, and true north. This will vary from map to map, and it also varies from year to year. If you have an older map, it may have changed. This is because, as we spoke earlier, the Earth's magnetic field is where the actual compass is pointing. But it actually moves a little bit on the Earth's surface. It isn't bolted into something. So at the end of this video, I'm going to include a link where you can go to. You can type in the country you're at, type in your mailing zip code or whatever equivalent is in other countries, and it will then give you, as of today, what is the declination number. Now here in Alabama, today, it's three degrees. When this map was made up in 1979, it was one and a half degrees. It changes over time. So you need to have that current. You can use an old map, but you gotta make sure you're using the current magnetic because the compass is gonna be pointing to that. And a small variation here widens out and becomes a bigger and bigger problem the further out you go. But we'll get to that pretty soon we start doing pacing and stuff. Finally, on the lower right-hand side of the sheet, you're going to have a box that shows elevation. It will be shaded in tone and show you how the ground is this bigger mountain range and how it tapers down, and it's showing you the elevation of what you see on the map. Then you will see a square sheet that shows nine sheets with yours in the middle, and that tells you the number, remember this number up here, that number is in the middle and then what is the sheet above it beside it below it up here up here up here it's every sheet touching it that way when you go to order one and you go <coughs> excuse me you go to order one and i need the map directly to the right of this one i have a number that i can say i need map sheet 3816 victor because i've got like 3815 victor and i need 3816 victor and get the correct map sheet. That's what that's for. You also, in this very last box out here, you're going to show any kind of large boundaries like county, mar or county lines, state lines, national lines between like US and Mexico, US and Canada. Those lines will be represented there so that you can see them on the map. Okay? Now, The topo map is oriented north, south, west, east. So that when I look at this, it's already oriented. And if I happen to look, I will see that this city right here and this small town, this small town is northwest of my position. So I don't have to fiddle or look. The top is going to be north. This side is going to be east, this side is going to be west, and this side is going to be south. So that whenever I'm looking at it with a map and compass and I'm, I see where I am, I can look directly north and see that this is the place I want to go. It's due north. I don't have to guess what the direction is. And if I'm wanting to see, you know, for example, I'm on top of a mountain. And I want to match up the map to what I'm seeing in front of me. Well, now what you got to do is what you call orientate. And you're going to take a compass, and you're going to put it on, the, on this map, and you're going to line up the grid squares. I'm going to show you how to do that a little later. And you're going to make this map be facing the correct way with a compass, so that when I'm standing on top of that mountain, what I see directly in front of me on the map is what I see in real life directly in front of me. That is how you orientate the map. Now, if I plot to go from A to B, 
on this map, all I have to do to be fast, and we're going to do this in depth here pretty soon, is I'm going to find my starting point, find where I want my destination to be, draw a line, put my compass up there, find out my bearing, convert that bearing, like I'm going to show you how to do from down here, to the compass, stand up, put that bearing, and go. And I'll walk straight to my target, or close to my target. But in this introduction, I want you to understand that there, everything you need to navigate just about is on this map. You need a good compass. You can also use a protractor. We'll get to that. And you're going to need a notebook and pencil to mark down because we're going to have to do a, a few little conversions. And that is very simple, very fast. I'm going to show you the down and dirty way to do it. Okay? All right. This has been the introduction for what is a topo map and the, the parts of the topo map. I'm about to put up the link now of where you can get your topo map and where you can find your declination. In the next series, we'll go into actually laying it down and we'll actually start plotting and doing courses. Stay with me, guys. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.